Hello everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to Golden Hall Gaming. I'm trying something new here so let me know in the comments what you think. Today I will be painting some Age of Sigmar scenery and talking about why people have been quite annoyed at GW's business practices recently. This is something that I wanted to talk about, not because there's anything new going on really, but because I've been surprised by some of the language being used in relation to some of the business decisions that GW has been making. You see, I've seen some people get really upset by things that have happened, recently to do with the Lumineth book and the Cursed City issues. One word that has come up a lot on Twitter and Facebook is abusive, which felt to me to be somewhat a distasteful exaggeration, but then I realised that I might be wrong. There's a real sticky situation at the moment to do with adverts. A lot of advertising at the moment happens through influencers or whatever you want to call them, YouTubers or whatever. This has raised some issues in the media because people tend to relate to these influencers a lot more than the actors in a more traditional ad um, and they feel a bit of an emotional attachment to them. This gives these internet personalities the ability to pay turn these adverts into what may seem to people at home like a personal recommendation from a friend. This is something that has concerned a lot of people so YouTubers have to say they're required to list when they're being paid to give a recommendation to something and that way the audience can still make an informed decision on um, you know whether this uh, is actually as good as the person saying. But what has this got to do with Curse City or the term abuse? Um, well, back when I first started the hobby, uh, I was tiny, um, GW was very bad at communicating. Um, in fact, uh, I mean, there wasn't even an internet back then. But um, in fact, it's only very recently that they've actually started making an effort at communicating. And they've come on leaps and bounds in a very short amount of time. Um, however, their Warhammer community team, I think, have, has done almost too good a job. Um, and I think that many of us have subconsciously begun to react to GW in the way that we would a friend. Um, you know, we're on first name terms with a lot of the Warhammer community team, or at least we feel like we are. So when GW tells us one thing and then does another, we get upset and that's an obvious reaction. When they make a decision that will get us to part with more money than we would otherwise like, um, we feel a bit betrayed because our subconscious is saying to us a friend wouldn't do these things. And I think this is why the word abuse is being thrown around. We've made the mistake of expecting personal morals from a corporation. This is connected, of course, to the people who send angry messages to Warcom team members, but it's almost the other side of the coin. If we think about it rationally, we know that GW isn't obligated to tell us anything about the supply chain problems that they may be experiencing or the production reasons they chose to split the Lumineth release. I, I mean, we might appreciate it, but there's no reason for the company to actually, you know, they, they're not obligated to do it because they're not our friend. But our subconscious is linking GW, the company, and the kind, friendly, lovely people in the Warhammer community team. Um, and we get upset because we feel like we're not being kept in the loop. So um, let's just do a thought experiment then by way of kind of proving my theory. Um, if McDonald's were to suddenly stop selling their sweet and sour dip, despite having said that they would, it would be part of their regular stock, would we all be as angry about it as people were about Cursed City? Would people call McDonald's abusive? Um, I, unless you really like sweet and sour dip, I don't think that would happen. Because our brains don't think of McDonald's as a friend. We know that it is a big company and that their decisions are going to be driven by profit margins. That's okay. Companies need to make money to keep making products. Um, whether or not you feel like McDonald's should keep making products is up to you. Um, but we don't hold GW to the same uh, 
we hold GW to a higher expectation than these other um, these other companies because we feel an emotional connection to them that we just don't with others. So next time something big happens in the community, I think that we might need to remind ourselves that while it's full of lovely people, um, GW, the company itself, is not our friend and we aren't owed an explanation for everything that goes wrong. Although, you know, I'd pre it is nice to get one. Um, in fact, we should expect GW will make decisions that we don't like because unlike a friend, the decisions that GW has to make are not dictated by our emotions, but by the demands of their business. We don't have all of the information about what those demands are and what problems they might be coming up to. So let me know what you think about the scenery that I've made. Um, it's for a guy round table, so um, to go with my Sylvaneth. Um, I'm intending to do little mini projects for the background of my videos, so um, I hope you enjoy this. Let me know what you think about them. All the best and uh, stay safe.